in Arizona. So, where are you going this 4th of July? Maybe a party, a get-together, or maybe you're just at home and say, I'm going to make up something delicious. We have the perfect dish that's going to wow your family or your guests. Joni Simon is here to show us how you can make a healthy, light alternative to cake, especially with the summer heat. We want something fruity, something and I mean watermelon is totally classic. I was at the grocery store yesterday and there's rows upon rows of yes, watermelon. And it's super cheap right now yes. too. So this is the perfect dessert and it's kind of a little tricky, right? I'm looking at this <laughs> saying how is this going to be turned into that? Right? So we take just a standard seedless, well you can do a seeded one, really doesn't okay. matter. Um, but what you want to do is top the ends off. This is where precision is a little helpful okay. if you really want to achieve the cake and a good form, knife. Right? And a good knife. And all you have to do is kind of run it along the side and just cut all that green off right okay. and this takes a little bit of time if you are a perfectionist like me where you're a little <laughs> high maintenance and trimming around the edges but eventually you'll get around the whole thing and it will look more or less like a cake you'll have this nice sort of rounded form okay. here and then what we do is literally just make some whipped cream which all right, you said so you don't know how to make whipped cream no and I usually buy in the jar one you no. know the ready yeah. but you can't use that right no, because it dissolves exactly that stuff doesn't really hold up so we need the high fat content that is in the real heavy whipping cream, but it's good fat, right? But we're saving on the watermelon, and it's not cake, so it's okay to have oh, that no, real whipped cream. <laughs> so what you want to do is you just get heavy whipping cream at the grocery store. It looks okay. just like this. Any brand will do. Uh, and then what you do is you get a whisk, although I have my electric whisk because oh, I like okay. little time savers. This also has a blender attachment, probably one nice. of my favorite universal kitchen devices. And you want to make sure it's in a metallic bowl, so okay. that helps keep the Why clean really that? cold. Because oh. it keeps it really cold. What you'll do is if you feel right here. Nice oh, it's and really cold, cold right? Yeah. And so what you continue to do that, and it'll froth up until you get these nice, what we call stiff peaks. So you don't need an electric one. You can simply just whisk away. It'll take a while. You don't need. That's all you're at. You're, you're not adding it. anything into it. I don't usually. Some some folks will add a little bit of sugar in there, so just to sweeten it up a little bit. But personally, I don't have that's like a really massive how sweet easy tooth. Whipped cream. I know. Okay, People I never been knew lying that. to you. <laughs> so easy. Okay, that looks yummy. Yeah, super all right. So easy. how do we make it look beautiful like this? All yeah is you take your cream and you just start to run it over the top. I usually do actually wipe it up first just to get some of the excess moisture Dry. off. Okay. That'll help kind of help it adhere. So I can even do that here on the side. And then what I do on the sides, because that's the tricky part, right, is all we have to do is take it up from the bottom and start to smear it just like yay. And we work around the entire cake. If you had an offset spatula, This is you where you need that. your patience. Yes, you do have a little Might bit of patience. But literally, I did this maybe in about eight minutes. Now, I've done a couple of these, so... You know, average Joe, give it about 15. 20. And you actually saw this on Pinterest and thought, this is not going to work, no, but it is. Absolutely. Working. I saw it. I was like, that is not going to oh, work. It's all go. just going to slide down the sides. It's going to be a mess. But no, I brought it to a 4th of July party last year and it was a hit. And then you can top it with whatever you want. Yeah. It looks like you got different fruits and on top. And then I throw it in a piping bag just to be fancy. You don't have to do that, but you know, you just get those really pretty little flourishes there, right? If you want to give it a go. All right. I know, I know you, you love know the piping I love this bags. <laughs> I Every time never I make it look these. perfect. Oh, okay, it looks well, beautiful. Yeah, but you have a nice, I don't know. I just can't gotta, do it when I'm at home. <laughs> the finesse, I cannot do right? It. And then you just get some nice fresh fruit. Of course, it's the time of year for fresh yep. fruit. And you decorate it up. And if you have any little holes or areas where there's a problem, that's where you put Cover fruit it. on it. Exactly. I love it. And this is such an awesome idea. Let's see what it looks like when you open it up. Slice into it. Here we go. This is my favorite part because you have this at a party and you're like, what's inside? And nobody knows. And they're like, what? It's straight up water. Watermelon, just oh, like that. So Isn't fabulous. that a right? And then you can just serve it right on a plate right here. Try not to cover yourself in whipped cream, and if you do, that's you know occupational hazards. Okay, I can <laughs> see how the kids will go crazy over yeah. this one, and oh. even the adults are just course. making it yummy. So Joni is a regular here on Good Morning Arizona, and she was just able to reveal to us that she is going to be on the Food Network Guys Grocery Games. Games. <laughs> Triple I want to make sure I got that all. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. What are we going to see you be doing in this? I'm going to be cooking. What I do here best, right? So we'll be slinging some food. Anybody who's seen the show, it's mm -hmm. kind of a pressure cooker, but looking forward to sharing it with you guys. When did, Do you know when it airs? The August first one? 20th. August 20th. Yep. All right. We're setting it up so we make sure it's on our calendar. You got it. Thanks, Joni. She's not going away. Coming up in our next hour, we continue with... Um, it's breakfast time. It's hot. We're going to have ice cream. Breakfast ice cream. Perfect. Perfect. I That's love